As you probably know, there are over 85 weapons in Ghost Recon Wildlands, each customizable with their own attachments. You can unlock these weapons and attachments by looting weapon caches that are spread out around the map. You probably have your eyes set upon a specific weapon or attachment, but where can you get it? That's what this video is for. We'll take a look at each province and list the weapon caches that it contains. Before we start, we want to mention that we didn't do all the exploration ourselves, but use the map that someone else made. We don't know who the original creator is, but we've linked our source in the description. Okay, let's get into the video, but if you don't have the time or don't want to sit through the entire video, you can skip to the end for a quick overview. We'll take a look at each province from the top left to the bottom right. We'll start in the top right corner with Koani. The arid and salty landscape contains the Scorpion Evo 3 submachine gun, MK14 sniper rifle, SR1 sniper rifle, Micro T1 and G33 scope for the assault rifles, and the .45 ACP 20 round magazine for the pistols. To the west of Koani lies Media Luna, the Red Desert. Here you can get your hands on the ACR assault rifle, Vector 45 ACP submachine gun, 6P41 light machine gun, Rus Red Dot and G33 scope for the assault rifles, 9x19 30-round magazine for the submachine guns, and the NATO 7.62 20-round magazine for the sniper rifles. Further west lies Tabaco, a dry but greener area. Here you can only obtain three caches, the AK-12 assault rifle, P-12 pistol, and the laser 3 dot for the submachine guns. Montepunku, on the other hand, does have a quite a lot of weapon caches. You can find the R5 RGP assault rifle, L115A3 sniper rifle, EXPS and G33 scope for the assault rifles, Compensator version 2 for the assault rifles, Digital scope for the assault rifle, submachine guns and sniper rifles, the foregrip version 4 for the assault rifles, submachine guns and light machine guns, and the compensator for the light machine guns. Moving all the way east again, we get to the province of Remanzo. Here you can find the 9mm C1 submachine gun, Type 95 light machine gun, Scorpion sidearm, M203 grenade launcher for the assault rifles, compensator for the sniper rifles, and the .338 10 round magazine for the sniper rifles. To the right of Remanzo we can find San Mateo, where you can get the PSG submachine gun, G28 sniper rifle, laser 3 dot for the assault rifle, PKS 07 scope for the snipers, and the long barrel for the snipers as well. Moving on to PND Agua Verde, the province that's mostly made up of water. Here you can find the SR3M submachine gun, the PP19 submachine gun, the SASG12 shotgun, and two short barrels. One for the assault rifles and one for the snipers. We'll go west again and find Espiritu Santo. The province contains the L85A2 assault rifle, MK48 light machine gun, TA31H scope for the assault rifles and a folded buttstock for the light machine guns. All the way east we can find Mojokoyo. Here you can look for the MPX submachine gun, the SRS A1 sniper rifle, the Stenmec 30 round magazine and the laser 3 dot for the light machine guns. To the west of Mojokoyo lies Barfejos. Weapon caches you can find in this province are the AUG A3 assault rifle, MP7 submachine gun, AFG underbarrel for the assault rifles and submachine guns, shift short angled grip for the assault rifles, submachine guns and light machine guns, compensator for the submachine guns and the ATPIAL laser sight for the sidearms. Moving on to the middle of the map where the well-known province of Itaqua lies. Here you can find the M40A5 sniper rifle, Super Shorty shotgun, MG121 
light machine gun, compensator for the assault rifles, PKAS scope for the assault rifles and submachine guns, panoramic sight for the assault rifles, submachine guns and light machine guns, the vertical foregrip for the same weapons, and the long barrel for the assault rifles. Next to Itaqua lies Okoro. Weapons that can be found here are the SR-635 submachine gun, 5.7 USG pistol, M1911 pistol, Comp M4 scope for the assault rifles and submachine guns, POSP scope for the sniper rifles, and the ATPIAL laser sight for the submachine guns. Villa Verde lies to the top right of Okoro. Here you can find the A05 Bren A2 assault rifle, Dragunov SVD sniper rifle, M9 pistol, and the Russian red dot sight for the assault rifles, submachine guns, and light machine guns. Moving east once again, we'll find the province of Montioc, which has some special weapons in store. The TAR-21 assault rifle, the MSR sniper rifle, the HDI sniper rifle, the folded buttstock for the submachine guns, the compensator version 2 for the light machine guns, and the laser 3 dot for the sidearms. To the right of Montioc you'll find Pukhara, a province near the edge of the mountains. Here you can find the Stoner LMG A1 light machine gun, the SMG 11 sidearm, Four grip version 2 for the assault rifles, submachine guns and light machine guns. The ATPIAL laser sight for the assault rifles. The TARS-101 scope for the sniper rifles. A short barrel for the light machine guns and a long barrel for the submachine guns. Moving west we find La Cruz. It contains the P90 submachine gun, the M1891 sniper rifle the SPES-12 shotgun, the PMAG 30 round magazine for the assault rifles, and the foregrip version 3 for the assault rifles, submachine guns and light machine guns. West, once again, we find Caimanes. Here you can find the 556XI assault rifle, SR-25 sniper rifle, EXPS-3 scope for the assault rifles, submachine guns and light machine guns, and the PMAG 50 round magazine for the assault rifles. Moving east for the last time we can find Inca Camina, the snowy mountain mountainous province. It doesn't have too much to offer in terms of weapons, with the G2 assault rifle, which is similar to the FAMAS, 9x19 VSN submachine gun, and the G28 scope for the sniper rifles. To the right of Inca Camina lies Malka. Here you can find the MK249 light machine gun, P227 sidearm, micro T1 scope for the assault rifles, submachine guns and light machine guns, and the ATP IAL laser sight for the light machine guns. With two provinces left we'll move on to Flor de Oro. It contains the M4A1 assault rifle, the MK-17 assault rifle, which is similar to a SCAR, and the rangefinder for the assault rifles. And for the final province, Libertad, you can find the AK-47 assault rifle, the D-50 pistol, which is similar to a Desert Eagle, and the Stan Mag 50 round magazine for the assault rifles. Still, there are some weapons that can only be obtained through Ubisoft Club. The G36, SIG556, and the Huntsman or Wildness Rifle. And of course, there are the exotic weapons that can be obtained by killing the bosses of each specific area. We'll cover them in another episode, so you can check them out. And in the meantime, you can check the picture in the description. Hopefully, you now know where to get the weapons and attachments that you want. If so, please consider leaving a rating in combination with some constructive feedback so we can improve our content. Any questions can be asked in the comment section and same goes for any comments. And have a great day.